Hello guys, I think I'm live, I'm not sure, I'll just have to double check it. Hey, how is it going guys? Let's uh, let's uh, wait a bit, like a couple of minutes so people can come by. And then we can start. Please take me serious. I'm a very serious person. By the way. Cheers guys, hopefully this stream will be a success and we can get to, to Silver League, I think the Silver League is, uh, is opened. Hello Alexandra. So yeah, let's uh, let's start for uh, if there are people from Coding Game, I think they already know we know what um, what this contest is about. But let's uh, let's get an introduction. I just saw it um, today in the morning that there is a contest. I was waiting for it like for a couple of months, but I um, I didn't receive a notification when it started because I think it started on twentieth March. Uh, so yeah, it started on 20th March. It will last until 20th April. I think we we are still good on time and we can manage to build a, a good enough uh, bot for it. Mm. Oh, in this, uh, in this edition of a contest, there are no prizes. That's sad. I think that's it for today, guys. <laughs> I'm not... Uh, Playing if there are no uh, prizes. <clears throat> so let's look into into the problem of this contest. So I'm gonna quickly read it to understand what's going on. Uh, yeah, but first of all, let's just run the code and see the map. Maybe from it we can uh, have a better understanding. So yeah, I think these are uh, how are we called submarines? Yeah, there are some kind of islands. Torpedo. Okay. Um, so this game is based on a board game. Captain Sonar. You pilot a submarine and you know that an enemy is present near you because you are listening to its radio frequencies communication. You don't know exactly where it is, but you can hear all. Oh, what's that? No idea. Uh, you don't know exactly where it is, but you can hear all its orders. You and your opponent have six hit points. When a player hit points reaches zero, the player loses. So basically these hit points are like life and we should shoot each other. So the rules, submarines move on a map constituted of water and islands. They can only move on cells with water. I think that's logical. They can share the same cell without colliding. The map is 15 by 15. Coordinate starts at 0, 0, which is top left. The map is split in nine sectors. I think these sectors are useless for this league. Probably they will introduce some new rules in the next leagues. 
So at the beginning of the game you will receive a map that indicates the position of islands. Islands are obstacles, you cannot move or fire through islands. Then you will decide where you want to place your submarine by indicating a coordinate X and Y. Uh, this is a turn-based game, which means that each player plays a turn one after the other. The player with uh, ID 0 begins during your turn. Thankfully to your radio frequencies analysis, you will receive an indication of what your component has done. So we don't actually know where it is, but we can know what he is doing. So based on that, we should guess where he is. That's how I understand so far. For example, you can receive that it moved to the north. It's up to you to use this valuable information to detect where it is. Then you must perform at least one action. So what are the actions? Uh, each turn you must perform at least one action. You can do several actions by chaining them using the pipe. But you can uh, use each type of action only once per turn. Yeah, like you can move one per turn and shoot one per turn and no more. If you fail to output a valid action, you will surface in that turn. Let's see what surface means. A move action moves your submarine one cell and in a given direction and charges a power of your choices. You cannot move through violence, you cannot move on a cell that you already visited before. Okay, this is interesting. So if you already visited a cell, you are not allowed to go back there. Uh, you can decide what to charge. Different devices require a different amount of charge to be ready. In this league, you can only charge the torpedo. Oh, the charges you, uh, are meant like uh, shooting. And in this league, we only have torpedo. Okay, that's interesting. In next leagues, probably there will be different types of uh, like charging. Surface. By using surface, you will reset your path of visited cell so that you can freely move to a cell that you have previously visited. But surfacing has a major impact. Your opponent will know in which sector you are surfacing and you lose one hit point. Okay, when you surface, you reset your uh, visited cells but your opponent will know in which sector you you are at this moment okay but he doesn't know actually in which cell you are only like in which um, region a torpedo requires free charge action to be ready when fully charged the torpedo can be fired at an arbitrary water position with a range of four cells this allows the torpedoes path to contain corners and go around islands, but not through them. The damage of the explosion is 2, and the cells itself... Okay, uh, the damage in the cell that you uh, explode is 2, and the neighbor cells is 1. So you can also damage yourself. Okay, interesting. Okay, let's check what people are doing here. Uh, Nico, hello. Andrew, hello, hello. Uh, Lucas, привет, привет. Uh, is this like lead code? Um, I'm not entirely sure about lead code, I haven't used it. Mm, but it's like a contest where uh, you program your AI and it runs against other people. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah, let's get going. Um, oh, I think. Oh, someone already shared my stream. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was, I wanted to do that myself. That's so sweet. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna do it in Java. Um, for people that don't know about coding game, you can actually program here if you want to follow along. 
but I uh, there is also like uh, an option to use an external code editor so that's what I am gonna use uh, and it will sync my code my local code with uh, this code uh, automatically so I already have it here so we can see if I add for example here to um, enters we can see here that it automatically updated so I, I, I prefer like writing the code in IntelliJ IDEA. Um, okay, so here is the code that, that Coding Gate provides us initially. So this is the inputs in the beginning of the game, like uh, when the game starts. And this while true is the inputs uh, each turn the, the player takes. So we will read like the position and every, all the information and based on this we will decide like what what's the next action we're gonna do in uh, in that turn. Mm, okay. Okay. So it reads the width and the height of a map, my ID. That needs a little bit more wine. So if I guess this is um, uh, this uh, system out print line. Uh, is gonna decide on which uh, cells we are spawning. So by default they made it like middle of a map, but if we make it for example 1-1, one, one, uh, let's see my assumption. Yeah, it changed 1-1 one, one. if we play the code. We should see that we are spawning. Uh, yeah, I think we are dead because we spawned here. Okay, we, are sp we, we spawned on an island then. We are dead. Uh, let's start by um, creating a structure for our map so in order to avoid uh, spawning on an uh, island and we're gonna keep track of uh, of all the islands and uh, in that so for that let's create a new file map a new class I mean the map Yeah, probably it will have a private. Hmm, should I work with private? No, I think I'm gonna work with publics because why not? Uh, with. I didn't use Java for some time. I think I'm gonna just blanket some, uh, like random stuff like how to declare a variable and. <laughs> Uh, so public map yeah, this is so hot so let's just initialize the width and the height of a map is equal to the height mm. So here in the class player, we can already say we, that we'll have a map. Um, map, our map will be initialized here as a new map. Hmm. I think I'm not allowed to use the map, it's a keyword. Or am I? Okay, he, this is a static. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, in order to avoid uh, errors like this, because I'm in a static method and I want to access this map, I think I would rather, instead of making the map static, 
I think I will just uh, move everything in a non-static method. Run. And here we should have access to the map. And here, let's say new player dot run. Will it still work? That's the question. What people are saying here. Nice outfit. Thank you. Oh, that's actually coding game. The, is it the official um, someone from the coding game? That's so nice. Uh, if you're still here, I once organized a coding game contest in uh, Netherlands when I, I came here the first year. Um, but the problem was that only me, one of my friends and another person came. So we were free <laughs> at an event <laughs> at a hackathon, <laughs> but it was still nice. We, we drank some beer and we coded and I made a friend out of that, uh, contest, uh, what I was doing. Yeah, I think it runs. No, does it? public class map but if it's not public okay yeah, yeah it works I didn't break anything so far Okay, um, so let's I'm thinking how to to better store the the map in memory um it's either like an array of strings and each string will contain like the what element is on that position or either is it better to uh, store it as a um, bidirectional array of integer for example and each number will represent uh, water or uh, island and so on mm -hmm. Let's start by by having the map. Hmm. So the is it the right way to declare a bidirectional array? Probably not. I didn't give it a name. Okay, I'm stupid. Right now, better, like this. Please work. And our this.map will equal to new ray of width and height. And probably here we will receive an uh, array list of strings because we are reading strings uh, from the input as the map and we will parse it into integers. So an array of string, um, string map, I guess. So we will um, do a loop. Uh, into that st string map length count size okay size <laughs> I'm saying that they forgot everything about Java and here let's say we will loop, loop through each character of that string is equal to zero j until 
uh, string map i dot get i char at no 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 length j plus plus did you want it to say something let me check the comments it's private int map uh thank you yeah i think i i fixed it already one more i didn't get it I, okay be dimensional sorry yeah that's probably mostly my english uh, is lacking not <laughs> my coding skills but you don't know x for island and dot for an empty cell reconnection successful yes uh, na, 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 na. is it back on yeah yeah i think uh, i lost my connection but it seems that it's back on so i will probably continue so yeah as uh, as i was checking here um in our string an x means it's an island and a dot means it's an empty cell so let's say if um string map dot get i char at uh, j is uh equals no is equal to x that means that our map will contain let's just uh have here some variables for the integer that will represent an island and the uh, empty space so um island the island will be one i forget <laughs> i am coding too much in javascript so i, I forget to, to declare the type and empty is a zero probably i'll swap their places so if it's an x then it's island otherwise it will be empty not like this not like this but like this uh, okay now in our player we just have to to collect all these strings here array list of string uh, map lines new array list and here we will say map lines dot uh add the line that we read it for from the input and then we can send it to the map so it will uh render it properly map lines uh right now we should decide where to spawn our uh our submarine in a position that does not have um, uh, a, an island so probably probably i will just what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna just generate like two random numbers and check if it's not a, um, an island or just to take it from from the beginning and go one by one and get to a place where it's water and spawn there let's go with a second approach in the beginning probably i will also need a class to represent a position that will contain x and y because right now here I need to um, to return a position. So let's go and create this class. Oh, I need to provide a name. 
point vector how is it better to call it never know write that in x write that in y uh, okay i can generate the constructor and getter and setter everything real fast generate constructor everything and also get the setter for both of them so here we will return a point uh, get uh, empty cell uh, so let's loop through the, our map and uh, when we when we get to a point where uh, it's not an island at that position we just return in it that's it mm, so i think we can for point y from zero to y will be i think width y is width i is width probably no i is height because yeah because yeah just trust me on that so if map at y j is not a uh, island then we return a new point with x x in our case is y or j x is this axis so is j and then i in if you didn't find anything probably it will never happen but we still will return a point one one so in our player uh here we will first um, receive this point from the map point initial position will be map map dot get empty cell and we can uh, console log it uh, print it here to to tell to, to coding game where to spawn our submarine so it will be initial position dot why i'm so confused about this x and y get y and we need an empty space in the middle so let me just check output two separated x and y x and y yeah okay let's just check if uh, it still runs and if it will most probably it will um spawn in the first cell but if there is an island it should spawn somewhere else if i didn't make this mistake that would be much better come on yeah i spawned in the initial position and my code tried to move north and that's why i lost uh in a second we'll start implementing the movement i'm just trying to to get to a point where uh in this uh, particular position there is an island probably it's gonna be hard yeah we see here was an island and it didn't choose the first uh, position it chose the, the next one it will go like this okay that's good uh, the next step i think the next logical step will be to start the movement and i think i'll start with a very dumb movement just checking um, the position around myself and to move where i can and without any obstacle um, 
with obstacle detection and things like that. So the player, let's see if we can um, X and Y. What are these X and Y? Where? Okay, here is the inputs. Inputs for each turn. A string with eight space separated integer x, y, my life, opponent life, torpedo. X and y represent uh, our current position. Yeah, most probably I will have a um, uh, separate class for each submarine to better structure our uh, data. So let's create a class submarine. Is that's how you spell it? And we know that it will have a private point uh, position. Uh, it will have life, private integer life. Uh, torpedo cooldown probably we don't need it at the moment but let's structure it so we will have it for future it will be much easier to to work from here so it's how is it called yeah torpedo cooldown sonar cooldown oh this is um this is this is probably like the charges for the next leagues private int silence cooldown hmm. I can already guess what uh, the next charges will be mm, mine so we will have I think I will not initialize this uh, this data in the constructor because uh, I will declare these submarines in the beginning of the game and here I'll just have to update the, 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 the data not to create a new submarine so I think I just have to, um, to have a method like update which will take all this uh, point position in life torpedo sonar silence cooldown what else mine cooldown this dot position equal to position Silence cooldown, silence cooldown, this mine. Okay, it should be void. So in the player we have we will declare um submarine uh, my let's declare it me and enemy. It will be much easier to, to call them. It's gonna be a new submarine and submarine enemy new submarine here we will say me dot update and we're gonna send the new values so for the position we'll create the uh, point from x and y Mm 
then we have why is it here um my life uh torpedo cooldown sonar cooldown silence cooldown mine cooldown and uh also we will have in our submarine like uh public void like a play method that will decide what to do in this position so our we instead of this instead of um outputting it here we will just call let's clean it a bit me dot play and it will play around <clears throat> uh, also our submarine should have a reference to the map let's just check uh, what people are saying probably nothing that's good Hello. It's stressing like this. Quarantine. This quarantine is so stressing. Okay. Uh, we need to. So the submarine will have a um, private map. Because based on that map, it will try to decide where to go. And a setter public void set map 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 this dot map equal to map. So in the player, after we initialize the map, let's uh, assign it. Let's yeah, like send it to to my submarine and probably to enemy submarine even though i don't want it to send to the enemy but set map okay now in the submarine in the play we will have private void move because in our play we will have like multiple options like to move to shoot and things like that so in the beginning we will implement the move the movement so when we play we want to move hmm. here based on the map we should decide uh, which way to go hmm. So we have uh, four options to go north, south, east, or west. We should just check uh, all of these directions. If they are empty on the map, then we can move there. So I guess we will say... Um, so if map dot... Mm, Let's create here a um, helping method that will return a boolean like if it's safe to go there um, is safe to move and it will receive a point here first of all let's check uh, if the point dot x is less get x is less than zero then it's not safe because it will go out of a map uh, or if point dot get x is more than more or more or equal than the map width then it's again not safe to go there the same we will do with um, y 
if it's less than zero or if point dot get y is more than height then we definitely return uh, false because it's not safe to go there um, however if we are on the map we just return um, map at that positions uh, point dot get uh, get y or get x get y uh, point dot get x if this is equal to empty then it will return true and it means that it's safe to move there okay uh we'll debug if it's wrong but hopefully it's not so here we should check north if map dot Mm, is safe to move to a new point where x is uh, position dot get x okay let's save them here because it's it's gonna be tough to, to work with them point uh, north equal to new point where position dot get x position dot get y minus one because we start the zero is the top row so to go to the north that means that um yeah like minus one then we should declare for all south it's position get y plus one east the y is unchanged the x where is this <laughs> uh, plus one because it's to the right i guess don't judge me west is minus one and here the same so if it's safe to move is safe to move to the north then we let's uh, create a helping method to for the move mm. public void uh, move mm, no 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 move um, move to and here we will receive a string direction and we can print line move plus direction move plus direction and we can say here that it can be private move to north else map is safe to move south move to south easy else if map is safe to move um, east move to east why I didn't copy it from the beginning? Did they do? Uh, west, then we go west. And we don't need this one. Okay, let's test it. Let's see how it uh, behaves. Was it updated here? what happened there can visit the same location twice use surface okay we are not taking into consideration the position that we already visited hmm. 
Okay. We should keep track of position that we already visited. So let's say in the map. We'll have a separate um, number for uh, the uh, cells that we visited. So uh, visited by me, very clear. So it's gonna be two. And we should think where we should update it. Um, public vo set visited cell it's gonna be a point and we can say map dot um, map map of point y We'll, for now, we'll keep track only of the uh, cells that was visited by us. So I can set it visited by me here. And when we move, when we move, we should save it map. You should probably set visited cell to them. <laughs> Where to put it? Okay, we will call it here. Uh, to north. Here to south. Probably very, it's gonna be um, better to clean this up, but for now, let's be lazy and get to at least wood one. So, we set it visited here, but I think we also need to set as visited when we spawn there. So, our initial position. And we can say map dot set visited cell will be initial position. And now it should not go on the same path that it went. Are still people here? Andre says hello. Yeah, it. Uh, it does something, it walks around, very weird. Oh no, that's me. I was looking at that orange and I was thinking like, uh, that's weird, <laughs> why? What did, what happened to you here? It wanted to move uh, to south. But you are not allowed to move south there. I have a check. Map is safe to move if get X. Oh, here, get Y more or equal than height. Okay, and we can replay in the same condition to, uh, to see if it will not crash here. So let's fast it forward a bit, 5x. Oh, yeah, we can see that it it does something. I think it uh, it knows how to play snake. <laughs> At least it doesn't crash. Now I think we should just uh, implement some shooting me mechanism and we can easily be promoted to the next league. 
right now. Why I have minus one life? What did I do wrong? Oh, I got into a corner. Okay, I'll not uh, try to fix that at the moment. We'll keep it simple for now. Mm, okay, okay, let's think how to to shoot. Should, should we just shoot randomly on the map and hope that we will hit him? I am dead. Oh. Not done yet. No. Connection status poor. This wine is very nice. I really like it. Daniel Cup, привет. Are you promoting my content? Okay, let's think of shooting. Let's just read the, um, the rules. How at least we should shoot. Uh, torpedo. Torpedo requires three charge actions to be ready. When fully charged, the torpedo can be fired at any arbit arbitrary water position within a range of four cells. So we can only fire in a range of four cells of our submarine. I am not sure about that. So that yeah, yeah, I think uh, we can see that the bot is just shooting around him. Let's just always shoot into, like, into one direction. Easy. Try surface when no puff. Uh, that's actually a good idea, but I'm thinking that uh, even without surfacing, I can, uh, just by implementing shooting, because I still have to implement them in this league. So I think I'll try to keep it simple and, uh, and implement surfa surface but no, actually it's not that hard, it's just a check. So yeah, you're right. Uh, how to surface? Hmm. Just to output surface? Yeah. Uh, it's quite simple to implement it here. So else, if no position is safe to move, we'll just gonna surface. Private void surface. We can surface. Did I write it correctly? Probably will have to copy paste it because I'm. So yeah, if there is no safe position to move, just surface. That was quite easy to fix. Let's see if it works. Let's uh, put it at um, high speed. I'm the, um, this one. Come on, come on, come on. Am I? S oh, I'm. I'm surfacing, but I don't reset my visited position. And in the map, I still keep track. I think that I was here, so it's not safe. So let's just reset the positions. Um, let's check the comments. The first league was uh, hard compared to other contests. 
Yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't submit any code yet, so I can't say much. But let's say um, in the map we will have public void uh, reset visit visited cells. We will uh, have a loop to all the map. And say um, say that map of uh, IJ 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 uh, is equal to map I J if it was uh, visited by me. We will s no 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 yeah if it was visited by me then we will set it to empty uh, but if it, in other cases we will just set it back to what it was and we should call this uh, when we surface probably here map dot surface. Uh, reset visited cells so yeah let's uh, replay in the same conditions and see if we reset our map and actually start walking again oh i didn't even notice that i have already um, room design <laughs> that was very fast thank you <laughs> How is the isolation going in the Netherlands? Um, yeah, it's going, I think, as in other countries. Uh, yeah, probably not like in Italy, like we're still allowed to go outside and uh, go to the shop. They are actually pretty like late with decisions like the government and yeah, like they didn't like did do a full lockdown yet. But we are like self quarantined and we are staying at home safe. Yeah, I think it surfaced only one here and it went on. I'm not sure why I, I'm dead. Why I'm dead. So let's see here, we are going a... Hmm, what's happening? We are going there, we are surfacing, that's nice. We reset our map, we start walking into a different direction. And then what happens? We want to go back or what? Mm -hmm. Green eco took me a while to write bungles pathing. Maybe that's why there are only two wood leaks instead of usual three leaks. Yeah, probably. I didn't check like the chat, like what people are doing, but uh, let's see why. Why I'm dead? Does it say anywhere? Hello? <laughs> so. Surface. Then move west and then. What's happening? I'm double clicking. I think I'm already drunk. So I move. Why it goes to the east? It goes back east. Oh, I already see. 
No, I don't see. Because there is no way to go. No, there is actually a way to go. It should go west. But, like, firstly, it surfaced. Then it goes west, as it's supposed to do one cell. And then it decides to go east. To go back. But it can't go there. I'm a bit confused. So map. What? Nothing. Nothing. Let's uh, cross along here. Uh, how to log? Error? Not console. Point on get y and here we will say no and here we will say uh, yes and no. Maybe someone found my mistake. I solved that by setting visited cell with the x, y you get from inputs. You cleared the cell where you were before. Yeah, that what I intended to do because I surfaced and I cleared the cell, but I I'm clearing it only when I'm surfacing. So in the submarine, when I surface, I'm resetting visited cell. And when I move, when I move west, it should set it to, to visited. Map set visited. One moment, we're gonna find it. Set visited to a point get get y by setting visited cell with a oh that's actually a good idea to set visited cells to the position that you receive from inputs not when you move let's try that yeah that's that's actually nice thank you uh instead of like map set visited like this everywhere we will set visited only after we actually went there so i think it's in the update 
we will say map dot set visited cell to position hopefully that will fix the problem if not i have a bunch of uh, console logs cheers guys How to debug? Do do any of you know uh, how to to debug? I mean, I think the cons uh, system error is crashing. That's in the map. I can real quick check it. Probably here. If I reset it in the initial code, they say. To debug system error. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Let's turn it on. Upload from local is very important <laughs> because it can uh, overwrite everything. Привет from Russia. Привет from Russia. Why? External editor is not on upload from. Yeah. Replaying the same condition. Oh, here I display yes. Uh, yes. Mm. Error. Yeah, and probably that's not a big deal, but we don't need this one set visited because it will run in the first um, frame and it will set it to visited. Okay, it runs so. Yeah, it works. It's old. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I'm the first one. Should I submit the code without any, even, even shooting and see if I can go to the Wood uh, League one? Let's uh, just remove them. Um, the debugging yeah <laughs> i'm the first one let's see uh. so guys in what league are you uh if there is anyone uh, already participate in coding game Without even shooting, I'm winning. Seven place in uh, in the league. Cheers. I got to 150th wood one without shooting. Now I'm stuck training enemy tracking enemy position. Yeah, yeah, that, that's interesting. I was actually thinking about this enemy position uh today. And I don't know about the like the rules that are added in the next league, but I'm thinking that 
it will be a nice idea to just um yeah like as you said like track the enemy position and you have like his path and you can put it on the map and see where this path is possible to to be taken because if if you see that he goes like 15 ways down then you know that he went from the top to the bottom and one position you know of him then you have to guess the, the second position probably nobody understood but uh, you understood that's nice There are six percent of bottles. Let's not waste time and implement a very dumb shooting like at random. I just have to check uh, how the shooting works. I think I. So after move, I'm saying here move as torpedo. I think after move I have to to write down a pipe that will indicate like different uh, different positions. And the submarine. And if I just say torpedo one one, what will happen? Will it shoot to the nearest position in that direction? Because I can shoot only like uh, four cells apart. Yeah, probably with this code I'm gonna get to the next league. <laughs> rank one what i am doing da, 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 da. This is me. I'm not actually shooting anyone. Why? I have a different character, not a pipe. It's a pipe. Oh no, no, that's how they display it. Is it a rule that you first have to shoot and then um, and then move? I don't get it. No, you can move and move and torpedo. Oh, this is power. Torpedo is power. I am lost, guys. 
move direction power and this torpedo is power what's the idea with a power move action moves your submarine one cell in a given direction and charges a power of your choice when you move you must specify you must respect the following rules you cannot move for a while you cannot move on a set okay you can decide what to charge okay someone wrote something but you have to check if your torpedo is loaded the order doesn't repeat move the torpedo to charge torpedo cooldown to charge like this I'm still a bit confused so you should when you move you should decide what action you will take and then specify in which direction you will take that action is this some something linked to to this torpedo Am I shooting? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm shooting. Probably. No, I'm not shooting. Yeah, here I shot, right? Yeah, 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 here I shot. And then what happens if I if I can't reach? Let's check the comments. Mm, torpedo takes three turns to charge. Yeah, I get that. No, by moving you can load your powers. Oh, by moving you load the powers. Oh. So if you stay in the same place, you actually don't charge your powers. Okay, and now I'm charging them. Congrats, you've reached level 22. Hello. Cheers for level 22. Not now. I have a good job. Hopefully they'll, they'll not fire me. So what's happening with the battles? Oh, I'm in the next league, right? Yeah. By moving, you can load your power. If any of your powers is fully charged, you can use it. For torpedo, you have to output the target position, but it has to be in range of less than four. But if it's not in range of four, does it automatically pick the the closest position or it just ignores it? That's what I was trying to um, to understand. Because in yeah, in some contest I remember that even if you had like a range, you can specify like a very far away range and it will pick the closest distance to that range. Uh, move, move, move. Here I have full torpedo, yeah, and it doesn't charge. Yeah, probably just ignores it because I'm too far. No, it ignores it. Yeah, okay, I get it now. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, should I just... Move here, shoot. Private void, shoot. And we will move it here. Um, so we'll not print a line, but print. We'll, there we we'll only move. And here we will only shoot.
and we so if we have torpedo cooldown uh, should I shoot when torpedo cooldown is zero let's just check the inputs where is it okay thank you So if torpedo cooldown is zero, then we will shoot the torpedo. And we should decide in which position to shoot it. Mm. How to take just a random direction? Oh, I think I know. Or no. I just don't want to shoot myself. <laughs> mm. How to check? Okay, let's just shoot. Yeah, the easiest way is just to shoot in our position minus four or plus four or something like that. And then we'll check if that's actually on the map. Like this. So position dot get y. Uh, Let's say on the same y plus position get x minus 4. And then a pipe for future moves. Will that shoot? why it's not sinking I'm dead If I don't shoot, I can't specify a pipe, is it? That's why? I can put the pipe here. Come on, what's happening? Zero free. What? Move south torpedo. Was the rules changed and that's why my time out. Why do you even try to shoot all the time? Um, no, I'm not trying to shoot all the time, only when the torpedo cooldown is zero. But right now I'm just trying to implement a very dump like shooting, like at a random position. And after that I'll try to track the um, 
enemy's position and try to guess where he is. I just don't understand why it's timing out. Torpedo overload. Yeah. Move as torpedo. What? What's happening? Oh, I'm not printing, but print line. I delete print line. Okay, that's why. Why I'm surfacing? <laughs> What's happening? Hmm. <laughs> Three minus two. Oh, that's why. Three minus two. Okay, uh, let's implement a method that will tell if the point is on the map, is on the map, point, and we just return this one, return true, and here we can say if is not on the map is on the map it's not on the map is true and here we will check where we are shooting so if thinking to generate like a random uh, position But for now, let's just check it. Uh, let's just do it like this to also shoot north, south, west, and just increase it to four, not one. Four, four. Then we can do something similar like this if map uh, is on the map north. Then, then let's implement private void shoot at position at point point get y point get x without minus four. When you don't fire the move has no new line i think i did it um i'm doing all the actions without a print line because for example the move 
is print shoot is print line yeah indeed uh we don't need that one and i'm just print print uh print a new line at the end of uh a turn so line 60 not sure where so now am i shooting no i'm not shooting torpedo seven one is it too far That's why it's not shooting. Should I say free? If he's on the map. At least one of his positions should be on the map. I'm still not I'm saying to shoot free zero but it doesn't seven zero and in this turn I am on zero three or zero four. Doesn't shoot. Try to fire out of range. Oh maybe I'm uh, I'm mistake. Should it be first X? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's the mistake. The first is X and then Y. Okay, it started shooting. Let's put it at X10. Okay, I won, <laughs> apparently. Let's try to, to submit this dumb uh, shooting and see if we can get out of uh, this league. Uh, probably we will not be able. <laughs> So yeah, I'm the orange one. What happened? We just hit the... Oh no, I surfaced. Did I fire that one myself? Six free. That was me? Why did I do that? Why did I shoot myself?
Let's see if I... I just moved out of the map. So here I am. No, I'm moving east. No. I'm still moving north. Why? Map is safe to move. Let's uh, move it. So it should be empty and on the map. No, first on the map, not to check. Oh. Come on. What am I doing? Focus. And. should be empty so is on the map it's less than zero will return false i'm wondering if this will fix it Yeah, 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 I think it fixed it. No. Let's check the surface. I think I'm print line to the surface. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it surfaced and here it shouldn't crash. Okay, that's good. Perfect. So who is a winner now? Still he's a winner, but it's much better. Let's submit this code that I fixed a couple of bugs. Okay, there are a couple of first places. I'll be able to uh, to pass that league this league with this code. That's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Can you give me some water, please? Let's see. If I can manage to beat the boss.
Okay, he's pretty powerful. No, what did I do? I submitted it again. Let me just check it a bit slower to understand what he's doing. Invest too slow. He knows my position. There are actually two two new types of uh, charges and i didn't read about them they, they might be helpful for this league because with this code probably i will not get to the next league so uh, in wood one you can now use sonar and silence where is the information sonar sonar requires for charge actions to load it allows you to check if the opponent submarine is in a given sector you will get the response in your next turn this is a this is in respect to the time of issuing the command not after the opponent move uh, silence silence requires six charge actions to load this allows you to move zero to four four cells in a given direction not visiting already visited cells or islands your opponent will not know in which direction or how far you've moved so with this silence you can actually avoid surfacing and just move four directions like teleport something like that No, I have no chance to move to the next league. So, what's the plan? How to get to the next league without doing too much? What are people saying? Hmm. I think this silence is a powerful one. Should we implement this silence and when we don't have anywhere to go just to to try to move like up to four cells in a given direction hoping that in that direction the, uh, the cell will be empty and that way we can save one uh, one life because every time you surface you lose a point Yeah, I have no chance to, to get to the next league. No. Okay, let's uh, first of all charge. 
charge the sonar until we have it so here we'll say nothing then private charge so we'll check if our uh, silence cooldown is greater than zero we will um we will charge our uh, silencer cooldown for that we should output silence else we will charge our torpedo and when we don't have where to move we will try to silence somewhere let's um, private void try to silence Lens. but it's not actually a void it's gonna be a boolean and here we'll say um, yeah here we'll say we'll, firstly we'll try to silence if it's actually not possible to silence from that direction like moving to four, four cells up, uh, in, in distance then we'll just surface because we don't have any other options so I'm gonna try to silence first of all let's check if we can actually silence the cooldown the silence cooldown is more than zero then we just return false because we cannot silence in that then then we should check um like this like north south east west but not only one position apart but up to four so one two three and four mm. Okay, let's uh, let's just have so for int i is equal to uh, in the beginning the distance will be probably two because it's obviously that uh, in the position one we cannot move if we uh, go to this method. So starting with uh, distance two until distance uh, equal to four. I plus plus we will check something like that so north minus I plus I minus L plus I and if it's safe to move there, then we don't move, but we silence two. Silence two, and we make it. And here we'll say if we didn't. Yeah, we return true if we silence to any position and we return false if we didn't find any position to, to silence to. So for, for the silence to, we'll have a similar method to the move to. I'm already tired. 
silence to and the silence direction and distance okay uh, in distance and we should also output the distance at which we want to silence that's i we don't want to charge okay let's try to see if it still works If you take two damage, there is high chance that the enemy knows your position. So you mean in that uh, moment you would silence somewhere at a random position, so the enemy will lose your position. That's why it you it is used. That's also an interesting approach to use this silence. I was thinking to to use it to to get out of a dead end instead of surfacing. But yeah, that's that's actually true. So constant pull. What? I think I messed up something here. Hmm, what's happening? So I'm moving. Why I'm silencing? Hey, but I can move why it gets here. happening And just constantly surfacing. <laughs> but it's an else, it shouldn't go there. I'm still silencing. <laughs> okay, then you'll see ya. Uh, 
let's just debug if why it goes there Hmm, it doesn't. I have somewhere a print line where I shouldn't have. Here. <laughs> okay, all right. Still, come on. No, yeah, it's fixed. How does he know my position? Man, he's so powerful. No, Daniel, you should turn the gray bell into a red bell. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why this bot is so powerful? How does he know my position? I'm so confused right now. He just knows that he didn't use sonar. It's just randomly he knows my position. Look, he knows where I am. Yeah, it's very interesting. So how? Maybe he he just guesses that all people are spawning in zero zero position, and that's how he knows they just get a random position on the map. Let's get just a random position on the map. Get empty cell. So, uh, let's say while through. We will get to random position. Okay, that's too hard for me. Uh, Java get random int in a range. That's even better. Random next int. Um, it's, I think, 
15. So, um, point, point is equal to new point a random position for this one and another random position for another one and we check if is safe to move right to that point then we return point Will it get a random position on the map? I guess the bot has a list of your possible position and tests the nearest one with torps. Torps? So where did I spawn? Okay. Somehow I won, but he still still knows my position. Look, he just shoots directly at yeah at both of us. <laughs> Why? How? And here, look, he he just knows where I am. Torpedoes, yeah. Oh, but if you shoot, you in the next turn you receive his health and you can understand if you hit him or not. So that's how you can get his position. I didn't think about that, yeah. Yeah, he might shoot uh, like randomly in the beginning and then check check the health in the next turn and he can decide if you were there or not. So who won here? Why? What did I do wrong? I came here. What did I want? Silence WW. Okay, I think I have a bug with this silence. Silence WW. Oh, direction, distance. And he, where was it? So let's see in the end. What's happening? Why am oh I don't have no I have silence enough silence why I'm not silencing here silence self free uh, 
Island South Direction Free. Mm. Maybe I'm not using silence, silence, direction, and distance. Oh, with silence you cannot just jump, you just, so it's not possible to move in that direction if I already was there. Okay, silence I think is not for, for the purpose that I thought. I thought that it just teleports it here, but it cannot move. As far as I understand, silence, rec this allows you to move in a given direction, not visiting already visited cells or islands. Yep, yep. Okay, my silence is not implement implemented properly. Yeah, probably I should try to silence only when I'm getting hit by him. So... Let's just... Charge the torpedo for now. I really need to pee. That's a problem. And I think... Yeah, 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 you, you cannot uh, silence for visited cells, you're right. I keep submitting, hoping that I improve somehow <laughs> and I can move to the next league. But it doesn't seem like Oh Do I have a chance with this uh, bot? Am I stopping when I'm shooting? No, no, no. So. I'll be just right back. I can't hold this. <laughs>
Hello, I am back. Yeah, I see that now it starts to get challenging even in in wood one. <laughs> Without a proper like shooting mechanism, I don't think I'll get I'll be able to move to the next league. However, I'm managing to beat uh, the bot in Oh no no no, I am not uh, competing against the bot. Let's uh, let's check right now. So the result, who won? I won with five lives. Maybe I still have a chance to uh, to get to the next league. So did he find me in this? How am I losing the health? Here he shot me directly. So, last battles. Mm -mm, no chance. Oh, I'm getting into a trap there. <laughs> Play versus Asterix. Let's see who is Asterix. Who is Asterix? <laughs> this one? Is it you? Yeah, probably I'm gonna lose because I'm following the same pattern of movement. Yeah, like it's gonna be required to make some pathfinding algorithm not to get into these traps, like obvious traps.
what, what do you implement very fast to get into the next league and to call it a day for today? Oh my god, what did they do? Oh, what do we do? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think probably I'll call it a day and uh, maybe tomorrow I will do another stream to to implement Farfar because I'm pretty tired right now, I've been working the whole day and yeah, it's it's pretty nice, we, we've got to the Wood League 1 maybe tomorrow we can um, implement some pathfinding algorithm and get to the next league so yes so yes <laughs> thank you very much everyone who was there uh hopefully i'll see you here you the, the next time and yeah thanks for your help see you guys bye stay uh, as as always uh, stay hydrated right clean code bye